the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter number 25. We want to read verse number 1 to verse number 13. The book of Matthew. Chapter number 25. Verse number 1 to verse number 13. If you don't have a Bible, try to share with someone who has a Bible. So that we can go together in the Word of God. Verse number 1 to verse number 13. I'm going to ask uh, Karaoke to read so that we save time on the readings. Matthew 25. We are reading verse number 1 to verse number 13. Lord bless his word as we read it. People of the world, people of the Ndipo ufalme wa pinguni utakapofanana na wanawali kumi. Walio toa taa zao. Wakatoka kuenda kumlaki bwana harusi. Watano wao walikuwa wapubavu na watano wenye busara. Wale walikuwa wapubavu walizitoa taa zao. Wasitoe na mafuta pamoja nao. Pali wale wenye busara walitoa mafuta katika vimbo vyao pamoja na taa zao. Hata bwana harusi alipokavia wote waka wakasi wakasinzia wakalala usikizi lakini usiku wa manane pakawa na kelele haya bwana harusi togeni mwenda mkamlaki mara wakaodoka wanawali wale wote wakazitengeneza taa zao wale wapafu waka waka samahani wale wapafu wakawaapia wenye butsara Tupendi makuta yenu kidogo maana taa zetu zinazimika lakini wale wenye busara wakawajibu wakasema sivyo haya tatutosha sisi na nyinyi afadhali shikeni njia muende kwa wauzao mkajinunulie na hao walipokuwa wanaenda kununua wana harusi ya kaja na walipo waliokuwa tayari wakaingia pamoja naye harusini Mlango ukapugwa alafu wakaja wale na wale wanawali wengine wakasema bwana bwana utufungulie akajibu akasema mimi nawaambia siwajui nini basi kesheni kwa sababu hamjui siku wala saa Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the reading of your word. Speak into our hearts and into our lives. In Jesus' name. Someone shout amen. Felix Kamanda. Felix Kamanda. Kamanda or whatever. Felix. I think there is Janet, there is Felix Kamanda asking for a key. Wanauliza kifugu. So if you know anything in that connection, please do the necessary. Kwa hivyo kama unajua jambo lolote kuhusu haya majina tafadhali fanya kinachohitajika. Amen. Amen. And everybody say, na kila mmoja asende. We may have our seats. Naweza kuketi. I want to speak today. Nataka kuzungumza siku ya leo to you kwenu on the subject juu ya somo burning the midnight oil eh kuchoma mafuta ya usiku wa manani look at the neighbor the neighbor neighbor wangalie jirani mwapie jirani come on look at the other neighbor wangalie mwapie jirani the grace of god neema ya mungu pastor will talk about gaje tazungumza juu ya burning the midnight oil kuchoma mafuta ya usiku wa manane haleluya haleluya Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No, at midnight. Sasa usiku wa manane. Many good things and bad things they happen at midnight. Mambo mengi mazuri na mabaya hutendeka usiku wa manane. I'm saying that again. Nataka kusema hii tena. Many good things and bad things they happen at midnight. Mambo mengi mazuri na mabaya hutendeka usiku wa manane. I don't know why. But it is at midnight. When, when, when there is no taxi. When you try to call your closest friend and you hear, take the one number you will be. Hapatikani kwa 
wakati unajaribu kupiga simu na nikana kwamba marafiki zako hata wao wamezima simu it is at midnight ni usiku wa manane when a child begins to throw his legs wakati mtoto anaanza kutupa miguu yake and the eyes are dry na macho yanakauka and they are not blinking na haya 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 fuku and you think where well, how will i go to the hospital nafikiria nitaenda namna gani hospitali it is at midnight ni usiku wa manane that most women give back ya kwamba wanawake wengi huzoa watoto you have no you think that you think that there was no problem na wakati wa mchana kuku ana shida you are even singing and dancing hata wanaiba na kucheza but at midnight lakini usiku wa manane when there is no taxi wakati hakuna gari la taxi that is the time they begin to cry oh wakati wao wanaanza kulia Hawitaji maombi wakati huu look for Ada na atakuta Lazarus St Mary's St Mary's Martha Martha Mwani Mwani and the other one that you know Na hii kinya bao na hii Na hii ni mimi ni pote amen It is at midnight ni katika usiku wa manane the minutes still ya kwamba wezi wengi huipa Hello hello look at the number of midnight Wangalia kila nimwambia usiku wa manane It is at midnight ni usiku wa manane Where I was told Ali ya family ya biwa the bright students eh watoto wenye hekima those who are bright na wale wenye at midnight usiku wa manane they remove their shoes wanatoa viatu vyao they take a bucket of cold water wanachukua maji baridi tu kwa karaya and they put their feet in the cold water and they keep on drinking na wanaendelea kusoma tell your neighbor midnight wapi jirani usiku wa manane come on tell the midnight wapi tena usiku wa manane it is at midnight ni usiku wa manane many things are done mambo mengi utendeka people who want to plan good things watu ambao wanataka kupanga mambo mazuri they need at midnight wanakutana usiku wa manane today i come to you to speak to you na siku ya leo nimekuja kukuzungumzia tell you Wabia. there is something about midnight kuna kitu juu ya usiku wa manane my brother my sister hakuna dada yako don't just settle during the day usitulie tu wakati wa mchana you need to go an extra mile lazima kwenda hatua zaidi in the name of jesus shika jina la yesu come on cry your name amen going an extra mile enda hatua zaidi and this extra mile hii hatua zaidi you will go in at midnight
Jesus is addressing the issue of his second coming. Yesu ananena juu ya kurudi kote kwa mara ya pili. I want you to know. Na nataka ujue. Jesus is coming back again. Yesu anarudi tena. Nobody knows the day. Hakuna jua ya siku. Nobody knows the hour. Hakuna jua ya siku. Nobody knows the year. Hakuna jua ya siku. Even Jesus himself. Hata Yesu mwenyewe. Does not know when he's coming. Three. 